All right, what's up, everybody? Good morning. It is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Today is the day I'm gonna say goodbye to this. Say goodbye to this car. I have. I'm still gonna clean this stuff up. I removed all the stickers. Most of them. I'm not gonna take these off. I'm not gonna take these off because I would ruin the wrap. Uh, let's see. Yes, sir. Got this all put back in here, too. They are keeping all the performance parts. So, good luck to the new owner. That's gonna take take this thing. So, you guys are probably wondering what car I'm getting. Uh, I won't tell you guys exactly what it is, but I am excited. Uh, it is it is another car from Carvana. So. Uh, I won't explain too much of the process, but I've been looking at this car for quite some time. Finally came on Carvana and took first dibs on it. I got approved for it. And we're gonna trade this bad boy in, get rid of this one and get the brand and get a brand new one. Well, to me, it's a brand new car, but it's a 2017 model, but I, I won't tell you exactly what the model is. Not just yet until it arrives later on today. They're actually coming today around two o'clock today here at my home address. So I'm really excited for that. So, but yeah, getting rid of the Subi for good. Uh, like I said, I just, I just don't want to deal with the hassle. Uh, put a new motor in, like what I said before, but it still drives, it still starts, it still runs. It just misfires uh, a little bit when you do wide open throttle. But other than that, I mean, car still runs so it's just been sitting here for the past three four days now i haven't started up but i will start it up show show you guys that the car still runs all right one last startup y'all ready y'all ready uh-oh uh maybe this car doesn't want to start guys crap let me try one more time wish me luck Oh, it still runs. <laughs> Low tire pressure sensor. What? Oh man. Well, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable the hill assist. We'll turn back the hill assist back on. So I'm gonna do that in a bit here once the car warms up so i don't have to turn it back off because once you enable or disable the hill assist you have to turn the car back on for it to re-engage itself again with the ecu so that's the only downfall but i'm gonna let the car warm up everything looks good so let's see mm, not bad at all yeah pretty good pretty good all right the GT250 is coming. I just said it. Getting a 2017 Shelby GT350. It should be coming from that road over there. I'm not for sure when it's gonna be. Is it, I did say on the tracker it was at the light, so. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Oh, shit. Oh, it's right there. Holy crap! Check out this ride, bro! Holy crap, it looks a lot better in person, I'll tell you that. Oh my goodness! Holy crap! I don't know what you guys think. Shelby G350 or my WRX? I do like the color of the wrap though, especially in the cloudy day. Damn, check out that car, bro. Check out this car right here, guys. 
dude, this is a badass Shelby. Damn, check this thing out. Holy crap, check this thing out, guys. This is nice. Damn, that thing was loud. Holy crap, I, I missed. I missed the startup, but that thing was loud. Oh man. she gets in and started back up this thing is loud i'm like 20 feet away i don't think i want to i was surprised how loud it was when she started it up oh what the heck oh, i guess not when she first started it up man that thing was loud it had like a bunch of crackles too with pops Nice. Nice. That is beautiful. All right, guys. First things first. Damn, the clutch is light. It is really, really light. I would never suspect that from from a from a Shelby GT 350. Definitely a lot lighter than a factory stock clutch WRX. Man, this car moves. Uh, the torque is like, man, this thing kicks. I seriously think this guy has um, aftermarket exhaust, but I would have to lift up the car and check that for sure. Um, I'm, I'm driving in track mode. Uh, it does spin a little bit here and there because, you know, especially when I get on it and then, you know, it's wet outside. But man, this thing is beautiful. Uh, this thing is phenomenal. It's just so. It just blows me out of the park, you know, especially having the 400, you know, four, it was like, I think it's like, the tuner says like 420 wheel horsepower WX. This thing blows out. This is pretty freaking awesome. I mean, even the shift knob is blue. There's a Shelby, you gotta see a Shelby shift knob. Oh, it's got the shaker system. I think it's got the nine speaker system since it's the uh, electronic package, but man, this thing is awesome. But I'm gonna drive back finish signing up the papers with Carvana and then uh, put it in the garage uh, clean it up take a look at it uh, apparently there is a dent that happened on the way here so uh, it's gonna get repaired on Carvana they're gonna pay for it from what they said but yeah stay tuned guys more videos on this this car for sure all right so let's do a walk around here it's got some dress up that air filter definitely needs to get changed out it is dirty as hell. I feel like the car just sat sat at their lot for a while. Uh, there is minor discrepancies on the paint. Uh, there's a couple chips here and there. Um, this front bumper is going to take a look at. They took a picture of that. Um, let's see. Uh, the This is the dent that happened on the way here. So they're actually going to fix this. I'm gonna try and see if I can get them to fix some other things too. Um, what I don't like is that it's nice and tucked in and then right here, it's like shot back out. You can see there's um, scrapes here. Uh, the other thing is the wing is kind of flimsy. That's the only thing, I don't like that. The wing's kind of flimsy here. Um, see right here too. Right here, this rear, this rear bumper right here, this side. Um, so it sucks because they didn't take my car because they took the keys, but they're not coming to get the car till. They're not coming to get. The, they're not coming to get the car till Friday. 
know you can see this right here, this badge. There's just, oh, this plastic trim looks like it's about to pop off too. Oh, I'm not for sure. It's so weird. But, man, this car is dirty. Really dirty. Uh, definitely. So, you guys are wondering what tires it is. It's Nittles. The NT55 GTs. 305, 35, 19s. Oh, they're 305s all around. I didn't know that. 305, 35, 19s. I didn't know they were out 305s all around. The question is, are these aftermarket wheels? Yeah, these are 305s too, 305s. So they run through 305s all around. Interesting. Because technically, you, just, you run 295s and then two 305s in the, in the rear. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of this sticker. I don't know why they put sticker here. Definitely gonna remove these stickers for sure. Um, oh yeah, you can definitely see this now. Oh, oh my gosh. Jesus. I'm gonna have to call them on Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace that for sure. I don't like that. I'm just nitpicking everything, you know. Um, other than that, the performance is freaking awesome, but uh, the outside, I mean, let me take a look here. See how there's chips here, 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 but that was already listed. So I'm going to have them take a look at this. This in here. And then, uh, hold on, let's figure out. Let's take a look. I want to, I want you guys to look with me piece by piece. So I want to make sure. Um, oh, I thought that was something else. But yeah, I'm going to make sure. Hold on, let me check this right here. This don't look. Like I said, I know it's not a new car, but I'm nick picking everything I can out of this car because I don't want any issues coming back to me. So, yep. I'm assuming it probably is a car from the south. Because the tint is a lot darker than mine. You can tell the difference. You can see through those. And you can barely see through here. So these are probably 20%. Which I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm actually going to ask them to remove it and put. I don't know. Probably 50%. The. Uh, I don't know. The, it's just. I don't know. I'm just nitpicking a lot of stuff. Interior. They did say. Yep. So there's a major scratch they could not get off. Some half ass detailing. I'll be honest right now. <laughs> I'll be honest. Half ass detailing. Um, the Shelby shift uh, e brake. What the heck is this? I guess. Um, Voodoo shift knob. Um, I haven't got a chance to test out the shaker system. I'm just checking for everything, you know, like nitpicking everything out, you know. Making sure that, because because when you buy a car from Carvana, you have a hundred day warranty, four thousand one hundred eighty nine miles with that hundred hundred with the hundred day warranty. So utilize that as much as possible, guys. Because I'm definitely gonna call them and uh, explain some issues, especially on the outside of the car. And then, like I said, the performance of the engine, spot on. 
I just got to get used to the clutch because the clutch is so freaking light. Uh, it's not something that I'm used to. So, but uh, let's see. Seats look good. So, mm, let's see. Back seats they look fine. So, yeah. So, I know I just did like a quick video. Um, I didn't get a chance to like put the phone mount on and then uh, or even the GoPro and so uh, for you guys to actually like get a chance to like hear the sound and you know the exhaust and also like get a chance to see me cruise around with the car but like I said um, in all honesty I'll go back to my office I think I'm speaking way too loud in all honesty the car drives awesome the performance level is there there's that there's just uh what, what do i say uh the punch of the torque kicks in like around four thousand thirty eight hundred and then i mean i had i didn't be buyer i didn't get a chance to take a look at the red um at the 8250 rpm the red line but i know it's got power it's definitely more powerful than you know than my 400 wheel horsepower wrx you know, uh, comparing like I said, comparing to the the WX, the handling is more precise. Even though I got coilovers and sway bars and struck bars and what else? I don't know, some other suspension mods for the WX. It just doesn't handle as good as the GT350. Um, I will do a full comparison video. I'm just giving you guys just some quick, uh, you know, quick announcements and quick updates on what I feel on the car. You know just test driving it uh around the block and on the highway and coming back so it moves i'll be honest right now it moves especially for a stock gt350 compared to you know a full bolt-on wx i mean it's it moves that's as honest honest way i can say it i'm not like i said you know i'm not like gonna say like it's the god of all cars or anything but just comparison wise you know it's a it's a phenomenal it's a beast uh so i just gotta do some more stuff to it like i said the, the what really caught my attention is the body on the car the body work the paint uh the dents uh the chips the rock chips and so i'm, I'm actually going to be looking into doing a full detail uh paint correction body work i'm gonna ask uh the detail shop that actually did work on my subaru that did ceramic coating they actually do paint correction and and some other stuff so i want to ask and see what how much it's going to cost for them to do all that and then like i said but first thing is that carvana has promised that they will fix the front bumper and they will fix uh i'm actually going to ask them to fix the brakes as well because the brakes has just been squeaking non-stop so they're probably gonna put new pads on i'm gonna have them do that and then they're gonna fix the uh, passenger uh door that was dented in and then hopefully if i can get them to squeeze in and fix you know some other small things and then uh like i said i was i was not really liking the the rear bumper um it was like shifted uh somehow and then some of the plastic trim like felt like it was about to come off but it like stayed there i didn't like that either and also the uh the rear spoiler the the, the r the r spoiler i don't know it just just didn't feel like it was a tight uh, like it was tightly bolted down so i'm gonna have to address those issues with them on friday because tomorrow is thanksgiving so other than that i wish you guys a great thanksgiving uh i'm gonna try and upload this video uh before thanksgiving or probably on thanksgiving day and uh, like i said more videos on the g on the gt350 i just can't you know i can't i don't know how to say this but uh it's been a a crazy year because of COVID-19 and it's been one hell of a year I mean like I said I lost my sister you know last month but you know I'm moving forward I'm moving forward in life you know I'm gonna bring more success I'm gonna be more positive I'm gonna bring as much as I can and you know more content for you guys those that have been following me since day one and like I said I I'm gonna keep striving and thriving as much as I can and, and staying safe and being positive with you guys trying to help out the local community and then you know going stateside and international so all right that that's it guys peace